This video shows a shave biopsy performed for a skin lesion suspicious for skin cancer. Before the procedure, discuss risks and benefits of the biopsy with the patient. Take a photo of the biopsy site, including anatomic landmarks, so that the biopsy site can be accurately identified if a subsequent surgery is required. Prepare the skin by cleaning the area with alcohol swabs or another topical antiseptic. Mark the area with a pen if desired. This can be helpful if a flat or thin lesion blanches from pink or red to skin color with injection of anesthetic, which can make it hard to locate. Inject the area with local anesthetic, such as 1% or 2% lidocaine with epinephrine. Epinephrine causes vasoconstriction that keeps the anesthetic localized, which prolongs the anesthetic effect and decreases bleeding during the procedure. Use a flexible shave biopsy blade to scoop a bowl-shaped slice of skin that includes the epidermis and dermis, saving the specimen in a jar. For this lesion, we will be shaving the entire lesion. For other lesions, such as large lesions, you might shave just part of it for diagnosis. Training to perform skin biopsies includes learning how to get the appropriate depth for the type of lesion being shaved biopsied and when to use the different types of biopsies. Typically use a topical hemostatic agent such as aluminum chloride to decrease bleeding. No stitch is required. Use a topical petrolatum ointment or topical antibiotic on the site itself. Cover the area with a bandage. Often, patients are instructed to keep the area dry for one day and covered for two to three days. Petrolatum ointment is commonly recommended to be used for two to ten days.